Happy Friday, everyone. I hope that you had a wonderful week. I say that a lot. But I really do. No, I, I, I don't mean it like I'm annoyed that I say that a lot. I mean like I need a new sentence to give you guys because that one's kind of old and played out. Anyways, today's video is a DIY video. I've been in a DIY mood lately. I think that's probably because I've been on Pinterest a lot and seeing a lot of inspiring things and trying to figure out how I could work those things out in my house with minimal purchase because I like to do my DIYs on a budget. Today's DIY, I decided to distress a pair of overalls that I had. I got them from Old Navy and I wore them probably like three or four times already, but I was just kind of looking at them like, they could be a little edgier, you know, they could be a little bit more like rugged as opposed to like super like, you know, clean cut. So I decided to do that. I did pair, try a pair of black jeans to distress them and that was a total fail. Um, I'm going to rectify them or try and make something out of them because I don't want to throw them out. But yeah, it didn't work. So beware, in this video I'll probably tell you guys the type of denim or the type of material you have is very important because it will rip differently and just not look as nice. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. I hope that you enjoy it and I will see you next week in the next one. Obviously the first thing you're going to need is your denim and a tweezer as well as a pair of scissors, sandpaper which is optional, and you can also have, I had a lint roller just handy just in case. So what I did here first is I just created lines with the tweezers just to get a visual and I'm going to cut two parallel lines across the jeans. Once I've cut it open I'm going to make the width whatever size is desirable for you. So if you want the, the ripped area to be really wide then you can just continue to cut closer to the seams. Now what you're going to do is the, I guess you could say it's perpendicular to the horizontal lines you cut, you're going to pull on the denim, the thread, um, once you pull it out you'll be able to see it. And it becomes easier as you go along. In the beginning it is a little tough and you do want to be careful because the white um, pieces of thread that are going the opposite direction, you don't want to rip those because you need that to keep that, to give the frayed look. But just keep pulling them out, it gets easier I promise as you go along. So here after you've pulled all the threads out you'll be able to see the white thread that's exposed and don't worry about it looking kind of boxy or just kind of very hard edges because when you throw the pants into the washing machine they do soften out a lot and they kind of get that frayed look. So I'm just going to go ahead here and create a few other spots on the denim to have it looked more distressed and yeah. Also, so like I said earlier, you want to you wanna make sure that you're using the right uh, material so you can get a better look. But here are the pants. 